Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Hobby Hijack, a sports-tuned version of the Hijack. Long after it was obsolete as a unit, this was turned into a sports model. You know, so you could putter around in a mobile suit. In game, it's a 350 cost ground and space capable raid with a ballistic and beam resistance of 14, a melee resistance of 20, a range strength of 16, a melee strength of 19, a movement speed of a very nice 135, and a thrust gauge of 60. For parts, we have close range of 15, medium of 6, and long range of 3. The unit features the Hyper Bazooka 2, the Hyzak Heat Hawk, the Hobby Hyzak Blow, which sounds wrong, and the Hobby Hyzak Hand Grenade. Because when I think a hobby model, I think hobby grenades, of course. For skills, we have Assault Booster, High Performance Balancer, High Spec and Beck Level 2, Maneuver Armor, melee combo controller anti-blast stabilizer emergency evasion system special right shoulder armor buffer and special leg buffer in terms of my opinion of this unit for its cost i think it's an actually really good raid it's simple it's effective and i don't know i had a lot of fun using it so I think it's fun, but I like high zacks. So what can I say? Let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello, and welcome to the match, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic beginning of your week. Um, I had recently gotten this unit from um, the one event. I forget what it was called. And I figured, why not give it a uh, spin, see how, what I thought of it. And, um, well, surprise, surprise. I actually quite like this unit, even though I'm a little rough at the start. So it does play slightly different due to the fact I never used the Hyper Bazooka on my Hyzak. So we're going to push forward. I see the uh, guff there. I'm going to fire, do a little bit of a charge, back up, notice the support. And now I'm going to keep trying to push the support, but their guff is going to be smart. He's going to try to cut me off. I'm going to get in there, still do some decent damage, but I'm going to get knocked down. And this newer uh, guff is quite a beast. I believe it's a standard guff and then the uh, McClaw. So I'm going to keep playing uh, since I'm a little lower. I'm going to come in here, give him the big chop, get knocked down. I want to get to that support, but I need to deal with this guy. So I'm going to turn around because I knew he was going to walk by me. So we're going to double charge into each other. My guy is going to take him out and then I'm going to push through the fire and the flame get my hit in there and then I'm just gonna charge him for safety sake because I was worried he was gonna uh, counter me and there's the McQuav, um guff so I'm gonna chuck a grenade fire that in him and I'm not gonna try to approach him too quickly get the counter smack smack BAM he got the axe he was asking for it or he was axing for it <laughs> And I'm going to catch that one issue, but uh, he's going to take me out pretty quick with that uh, range weapon. It's kind of crazy. <clears throat> and that's our first death. So we're going to pop in on our base. Number two has been quite a beast in fighting off most of the enemy team by himself. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to try to come in and help my guy. Chuck a grenade. I was hoping he'd come closer, but he's going to get taken out. I'm going to fire, but I'm going to catch the uh, Guff shield there. And then I see uh, <laughs> the McClaw one. So we're going to just fire, give him a little bit of that damage. Get him with a grenade. Push forward. A tactic I find often works. His legs are out, so we're just going to help the uh, support take him out. And we're going to feature all those fun terrain elements. And I'm going to come around, and I'm going to help five by chucking in a bit of fire and we're going to go for a chop and get a little bit of that extra damage. Now I see uh, my friend in the support so I'm going to move over here a little bit but I thought the general was going to come up on me. We're going to fire, catch him with that chucker grenade at him and we're going to back off because that's a lot of fire coming at us. 
I'm gonna come up, hit him with that, and there's our second death. Huzzah. So we're gonna spawn in at A. Or a. I'm gonna come over and help our support out and give them a little bit of backup. Now you can tell our team has really got this bad problem of spreading out. So we're gonna fire, catch the easy eight in the legs, not be able to get him with the, uh, the down tap, but we're gonna fire in. We're gonna let our support come out and then we're gonna push him. Uh, I'm trying to open up with the bazooka. He's gonna roll out. We're gonna catch him with the charge and then we'll be able to finish him off with the melee. I'm trying uh, to make sure I use uh, the ranged weapon as an opener. And oh, there's the Ack guy. We're gonna chuck that grenade. No reason to save it at all. We see our support friend. We're gonna just get him with the bazooka. No reason to go crazy. This unit can take an obscene amount of damage really quick. We're gonna catch the Ack guy there. I was trying to force him into a roll or a dot or a charge and we're going to be able to knock him down. Let our guy come in and uh, give him a little bit of 1-2 action. I'm going to come over here, catch the uh, guff there, but he's going to be able to charge through it. Hit him there. Got to love that little horn on the top of the helmet as we knock him down. And we see one of the guys is uh, disconnected. There's been a lot of disconnecting lately. We're going to try to trick him into doing that and then pop it over there and we're gonna get the kill on him and one of our guys has managed to uh, bomb the base we're gonna put a little bit of pressure on the support come in hit him with that come in not hit him with that but we'll charge past him as he gets finished off and we see our tank well we need to escort him to safety you know small children need to be directed to the manager so that their parents can find them. So he's close enough, we'll just go ahead and scoot over here. Now in this position, I would say it's worthwhile heading back to the base, taking a seat and repairing as much damage as you can. So you can see the legs and the head are getting uh, fixed up and we're regaining some of the unit's health. You can't always do this, but when you get that chance, you might as well. A was being taken, but 3 decided to uh, jump in on that, and we've regained most of our health. The unit does seem to have a little low health, I'll say that. And we're going to come over, push, but uh, we're not going to get the shot on him. We see our <laughs> support friend over here, so we're going to push him a little bit. I was hoping he'd get distracted, but we're going to come over. We're going to let him get the hit on me, because it really doesn't do that much damage. Miss that, the box is going to interfere. He's gonna drop off, we'll fire, but he was taken out. <clears throat> We're gonna throw a grenade directly into the railing. You know, you never wanna trust the railing. I'm gonna get the one, two down, switch over to the melee and shoulder in. You get the cold shoulder every now and then. We'll push over here and he's gonna fire up and he's gonna get taken out there. So. We're close to the end of the match, and uh, I see there's a guy that spawned over here, so I'm going to push over. It's the McClough. We'll catch him with that because he has a thrust and we do not. Switch over here, go for the shoulder, but it's a little too late. One of our guys is defusing the bomb. We're going to hit this guy with that, but he's going to push out of the whole situation. Now, I'm more working his legs over, and... We're just going to head and finish him off, even though I thought number two had already killed him, but a hey, whatever. And we're going to push over in the last few seconds of the match and see. Uh, well, was hoping to wave bye to somebody, give them a high five. You know, they fought hard and they fought hard, but eh, they didn't want to show up. And I can understand. So let's see how we did. That's an interesting way to hold that bazooka <laughs> so we got one board position and first place thanks for joining me bye bye